Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The X-Files. This one is called Darkness Falls. I really like that title for some reason, so let's go and see if I'm going to like this episode as well. Really looking forward to this, so let's get started. Let's face it, this thing could kill us all. We should have been gone two days ago. No one would listen to me. What are they so scared of? Wow, okay. They're getting more and more frantic as they go through the forest. What? What is it? A bunch of insects with green <laughs> lights? I don't know. Is that the thing that they were so scared about to begin with? Or is that something new that's happened here in the forest? I'm not quite sure why they are so terrified of insects, but obviously there's more to it than what we see right now. I just love this show. It's so exciting. Every single episode is so different. 30 loggers working a clear cutting contract in Washington state. Rugged manly men <laughs> in the full bloom of their manhood. <laughs> they vanished, or so it would appear. Two weeks ago, the group of loggers I just showed you radioed a message that Spinney and Teague had gone on a spree, biking trees, sabotaging equipment, causing general mischief. One week later, all radio communication was cut off. In 1934, long before anyone even knew what an eco-terrorist was, a WPA crew working that same area vanished without a trace. Come on, Scully, it'll be a nice trip to the forest. <laughs> I'm not sure what this is about yet. I have to say, though, I love Scully's makeup in this one. The pink eyeshadow and the pink lipstick, it really suits her. Alder, Scully. Well, we've got a four hour drive ahead of us. Plenty of time to get to know each other. Whoa. Damn it. Oh, it's a tire. Well, Mikey Rangers call it a caldron. Roads back here are littered with them. So how are we gonna get up to the camp? We're gonna have to hike. Hike? But how far have they traveled? They said it was a four hour drive. How far have they got to go walking? Wow. Someone forgot to clean their plate. Looks like they left in a hurry, yeah. too. Yeah. What's that? They forgot to pack. Find anything? Party favors. Uh, vehicles have all been monkey wrenched, power generators busted. Uh, whoever did it didn't want the fact broadcast either. Mm. Drained of fuel? Oh, was that salt or something? Rice? Radiators are all full of rice. I mean, it just seems like a simple case of the eco-terrorisms, the, the people that are not wanting their logging to continue. But obviously, it has to be more than that. It's a cocoon. Made by what? <laughs> oh, gosh. That's a massive cocoon web you thing. It it's awful. So. Why have they made her do that? Oh, jeez. Be so careful. Oh, wow. You all right, Scully? Ooh, now it gets interesting. Is there just one person in there? Oh, man. Oh, God. Why is he white? No, more like all the fluids have been bled from his body. What kind of an insect could have gotten a man all the way up into that tree? Itchy, itchy <laughs> I like this one. This is interesting. Oh, he's not alone here. <gasps> That's just a wild animal. It's a wild animal. Or like a coyote or... I don't know what's in this part of America, okay? But it's. I think it's just a wild animal. Okay, maybe not. Don't move. Doug Spinney. How to shoot you where you stand. Might as well shoot yourself, too. This animal's Doug Spinney. He's the man responsible for all the monkey wrenching. He's probably a murderer as well. I'm no murderer. You're a liar. Let's just hear what he has to say. I'd start thinking about how to get that generator started. Darkness is our enemy. Why did you say the darkness was our enemy? Mm. That's when they come. They. When who comes? I don't know what it is. They come from the sky. They take a man right off his feet and devour him alive. I saw it happen. We pay for the right to take those trees. Oh, yeah? Well, I got news for you. Your logging crew is taking trees that nobody has a right to. Trees that are marked and protected. They've been taking marked trees? Yes, sir. Marked and orange. You gonna take this man's word over mine? Who knows who to believe right now, though? You don't want to go out in the night. Take my word on that. 
I think this man is a liar and a murderer and just oh, clever no. enough to make up a story like that. Even to whip up that cocoon just to save a few trees. And I'm going to prove I'm right. He's going to be dead pretty soon. Who's going outside with him? Everyone. Where is it, Spinny? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, dude, I wouldn't be tempting it. Uh, don't be shy. Come it's on. those things, like little... Huh? Those green light bug things. There's nothing out here but a bunch of trees. Trees that this man values more than human life. I'm gonna see him tried on murder charges. Okay, they survived the night. That is good. You see this Douglas fir? It's been standing here since before time, and your men cut it down. You're only supposed to cut trees marked with a blue X. Oh. This tree must be hundreds of years old. I don't know. Oh. I've never seen a ring like that before. That guy is so annoying. He's in the wrong. If he's cutting down trees that were marked not cut down, he's in the wrong Still here. Oh, wow. Parasites attack a tree in a variety of ways, but they always attack the living parts. Maybe the wood in this ring is different. They seem to be feeding on it. Mm. They appear to be hatching out of the porous wood. Maybe when you drilled this core, you tapped into a larger nest. And they built a cocoon? Right after that tree was cut down, it's when Teague died. About the same time, oh, the loggers disappeared. Oh, wow, too. okay, I get it. You think these mites are what killed the men? Maybe they've been lying there dormant for hundreds of years. Mm. Maybe they woke up hungry. Mm. Makes sense, yeah. I think that's what it is. Hey, that's cool. I've never really thought about <laughs> the possibility of anything like that. I really love it. Where's his keys? Okay, no keys. Yeah, that guy, I think he will die. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that he'll be dead. Oh, he's hot wiring. He's just so desperate to leave. It's dark. This is his last night alive. Is that enough to protect him? Just shut the doors. Okay, well, he got the car started. Put the lights on. That's just gonna dig it in further. Oh, they came in! Oh, wow! Oh, no! Okay, well, he's gone. Okay, so they will kill him. I think they drain him of his blood. Are they go Are Scully and Mulder going to find him in a cocoon in the morning somewhere? And these rings represent a history of climatic changes, which means that in this year or season in the life of the tree, there was some kind of strange event that produced an abnormal ring. A volcanic eruption? Well, after Mount St. Helens erupted, there was a large amount of radiation that was unleashed from inside the Earth. Strange things started to grow. There's actually this lake where they've discovered a kind of an amoeba that can literally suck a man's brains out. <laughs> Well, a brain-sucking amoeba. Oh, it's true. <laughs> Spirit Lake, and there's documented cases of swimmers being infected. What if it's some kind of extinct insect larvae in that ring? Deposited during a period of volcanic activity brought up through the tree's root system? Ancient insect eggs. Thousands, maybe millions of years old, lying dormant until, until those loggers cut down that tree. Yes. That would be rather poetic just, don't you think? <laughs> yes. Unleashing the very thing that would end up killing them? <laughs> friend Humphreys. I love how Mulder has Sweet come up dreams. with this theory. It, I find it such a scientific sort of theory. Of and he you know thought of it. Didn't. What's he doing sneaking around? He's leaving. Hang on, is he going to turn off the generator? He's taking the gasoline? Why? Why would he want to turn it off, though? Going somewhere? Oh, he's putting no, it... Doing a little auto repair. Oh. I gotta save my friends. They only had enough gas to keep their generator running. 15, 20 hours max. They're gonna die if I don't get back there. Look, I can save us all, man. We've got a Jeep over there. It's just two valleys over. All it needs is a battery. Now, I could get there. I could be back here in the morning. We can all drive out tomorrow. You gotta trust me, man. Radio's back up. Oh, what? That's amazing. It's working. It's so clever. This is a call for help. Is there anyone at this frequency? Who's that? Turn the generator. I turned it off. I'll turn it back on. I got the radio. Oh, on. no, he turned off the generator? What happened to the gas can? Spenny took it. He left early this morning. He took a battery and some gas. He's going to come back for us in the morning. What, he give you his personal guarantee on that? <laughs> he gave me his word, yeah. I think he'll come you back. You stop to think that the man who gave you his word has made an art out of sabotage and defying authority? Your partner let Spinny leave with the last of the gas. I, I think that Spinny will come back. I, I have faith in him. 
<laughs> but I'm worried about these guys being stuck out here with no lights, no power. He feels bad because he's he's on that's put them in this situation. It's done. I shouldn't have let him go. Let's just move past it, okay? Scully, what would you have done? You mean, would I have made a decision by myself that would have affected the whole group? Oh, will you cut the sanctimonious crap? Well, what do you want me to say? Let's face it, Mulder, we might die up here. If we're lucky, they'll find our bodies spun up in a tree, or they may not find us at all. My prediction is that they will board it up and they'll get through most of the night, but then the bugs will find them and start to come in, but then it'll come on to daylight, or Spinny will get back and they'll be saved just in the nick of time. So let's see if I'm right with that one. Well, they've done all that they can do. What's she doing? <gasps> oh no. See them. Look, they're coming through the wall. What can they do? What? Oh my gosh. Oh, what? Careful of the light. No. They're not just on you. They're everywhere. Over oh everything. my god. I thought we were supposed to be safe in the light. We are. We'll be safe as long as we stay in the light. So scary. I've never seen Scully so scared and terrified. She's always so calm. Ew. Look at those things. They're awful. How long do they have left before that runs out? Not long at all. That's done pretty well to last this whole time with just a little bit of fuel. I think Spinny will come back. Well, I'm not going to give up on Spinny. Mm. He gave me his word he'd come back to get us. Mm, I love how he's being so calm and just calming Scully down. And she is terrified and so scared. I, I think that Spinny will come back just in the nick of time. I, I do, I do. Well, that's it. That's stopped now. Is that the sunlight? Oh! They just made it! They made it through the night! Amazing! That is so good! Oh, they're gonna find that guy! Oh! Oh! He's still he's moving! I saw him move! You hear that? It's a car. It's spinning. We gotta move. Yes, Let's go. Let's go. Wait, what about the body? Leave Humphrey's it. Body. Leave it. Leave it. I radioed for help. What happened to your friends? They didn't make it. Oh no. We're not gonna make it either unless we haul ass. Let's go. Come on. I thought that guy in the car was still alive because I thought I saw him move very briefly and slowly. I thought he may have just been paralyzed. Okay, it's night time. Do they have enough fuel to to make it? <gasps> no, terrible. I don't believe it. You talk about shooting yourself in the foot. Yeah, that's their own traps. Oh, oh my gosh! There, there. Get back in the car. Get oh the no, no, no. Oh, this poor guy. Oh, no. No way. Well, they're in the car. Well, that's help, but by the look of what we saw, it would have it looks like it's too late. This is the next morning. Yeah, this is the next morning. There's quite a few cars coming. Who are these guys? They're like park rangers or what are these people? FBI. Oh my gosh, what? We have an emergency evacuation situation. Requesting quarantine no facility for two, possibly three victims with undiagnosed infection or exposure to unknown biological vectors. What? Are they moving? I thought I saw that other guy moving. High Containment Facility, Washington. Jeez. How are you feeling? Better. How did the test come back? Your respiratory charts were good. There were large concentrations of a chemical we determined was luciferin. Which is what? 
The same enzyme we find in fireflies and other bioluminescent insects. Scully? Jeez. How's she doing? She's still not out of the woods, so to speak. She lost a lot of fluids. Two or three more hours of exposure. She might not have made it. I told her it was going to be a nice trip to the forest. <laughs> it's not his fault. How are you going to contain it to the forest? The government has initiated eradication procedures. They're quite certain that by using a combination of controlled burns and pesticides, they will be successful. And if they're not? That is not an option, Mr. Mulder. <laughs> no, it's not. It certainly is not. That was awesome. I loved that one. I thought that one was so exciting, so unusual and different. The entire plot of it was so out there and unique. I would have never thought of anything like that. And I absolutely love how unique and different that was. I loved it. And seeing Mulder feel so terrible for his a grave mistake that put them both in such a dangerous situation and knowing that Scully could have died within a couple more hours of exposure would have really really hurt him deeply because I know that he cares a lot for Scully and that was his doing I guess and he also said oh it's a nice trip to the forest and he also set spinning off with the last bit of fuel but that's not really his fault he wasn't to know and spinny did come back which was wonderful i did have faith in him is he okay i don't remember seeing him at all in the hospital the last we saw of him was just him running away i believe i think he's dead unfortunately i quite liked him as a character so i am a bit sad about that but very grateful that Mulder and Scully are okay because this was full on and so exciting and interesting. I really loved this one. It was awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you again soon in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.